So determine the number of different arrangements that can be made using all the letters of the word success. Uh, the examples that I previously went through are going to help us out quite a bit here. So first of all, you guys will notice that I have one, two, three S's and I have one, two C's. So if there are no restrictions, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters. So that would be seven factorial. But we have two C's and we have three S's. So that would be seven factorial divided by two factorial, three factorial. Ah, sorry, I'm trying to punch this in my calculator. Oh, rough. <laughs> and this would give me 420 different ways. Now, the first two letters must be an S, and the word must begin with exactly two S's. So I'm just going to draw something right here. The first two letters must be an X, S. The word must begin with exactly two S's. So in this case, I could go S, 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 but in this case, I'd have to go S, S, some other letter. So just to sort of show you guys what the difference in that wording is. Now I have seven different letters, so I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If my first two letters must be an S, then that's going to give me three multiplied by two. From there, it doesn't matter what the rest of my letters are, and I have five letters left, so it's going to give me five, four, three, two, one. But I have to remember to still divide by my similar objects. So this would give me three times two times five times four times three times two, or five factorial, if you will. And then this would all be divided by 3 times 2 times 1 times 2, which would end up giving me 60 ways. Now here, the word must begin with exactly two S's. So again, I draw out my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I have S, S. But now, it can't be an S. So there's only four non-S letters. And then it opens it back up to everything else. And this gives me 576. But we cannot forget that I have to divide by the two factorial, three factorial. So it would just be the 576 divided by the two factorial, three factorial. Which ends up giving me 48 different ways. The S's must be together. So again, this gives us the package question. And I have my one, two, three S's in there. From there, before, we had one, two, three, four letters. So I have a package plus four letters. So that would be five factorial. And then I can arrange the three S's three factorial ways. And I divide this by three factorial two factorial again. Now you could make the argument that since the three S's are indistinguishable from each other that you could just treat that as being one and that would be a fair way to look at it. If you treated it like that then all that you'd have to do is take out the three factorial on the bottom and you can see it actually cancels anyways. So that one just kind of depends on how you want to look at it. But this gives us 60 different ways again. The S's must not be together. So again, I have those one, two, three, four letters, and then I have the five spots. So my four letters will be four, three, two, one, 
or 4 factorial, but then I'll multiply that by 5 and I'm placing those three letters. And then this again is all divided by 3 factorial, 2 factorial, because we need to take that into account. So this will give me 4 factorial multiplied by 5p3, and then this is all divided by 3 factorial, 2 factorial, which ends up being 12, and this would give me 120 different ways. From here, the next one. The word must begin with a vowel and end with a consonant. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven letters, and it must begin with a vowel. Looking back up at our word, we had two vowels. And it must end with a consonant. So there's two vowels that I can begin with and five consonants that I can end with. There's no other restrictions on this, so then it's going to give me five, four, three, two, one. But again, I have to remember to divide by the two factorial, three factorial. And this will give me 100 different ways. Now the next one is actually kind of a cool question. Uh, there are a couple of different ways that we can do this, but these have predominantly been taken completely out of the curriculum, so you guys are just kind of responsible for the basics. Now, here what we see is if we're continually trying to go towards our path, well, I have one, two, three, four, five ways that I can go right, and one, two, three, four ways that I can go up. Okay? So, the way that I could look at this is I could look at this as trying to arrange a right move and an up move. So in total, to get to the end, I'm going to make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 movements. So that would be 9 factorial. But 5 of those movements are to the right, and 4 of those movements are upwards. So that's going to give me 9 factorial divided by 5 factorial. Four factorial, which will give me 126 different ways. Okay, and the algebra we are not going to get to at this point in time.